Hello, in this short tutorial, we'll be covering how to create modifier groups along with adding and changing individual modifiers and how to use modifiers in the register app using the device. First, let's take a quick look at what modifiers are. When in the register app and selecting a menu item, modifiers can be added to help with order taking by offering options at the time of the order. When I select burrito, the modifier group toppings comes up and these modifiers can be used to add or subtract items. In addition, a cost can also be associated with the modifier. There's two ways to add or change modifiers, using the device or through the web dashboard. To make major changes to the menu or inventory, such as adding modifiers to an entire category, it's easiest to make these changes using the web dashboard, which can be accessed through the clover.com manage webpage. In this video, we'll only be covering making changes via the device. So, let's get started. We're going to start at the home screen and select Setup, then Inventory. You'll then select Modifiers from the menu on the left, which will bring up all the modifier groups. Along the top, you can see the group name, how many modifiers are in that group, and whether this group will pop up automatically when a menu item is selected. Above that is the area where you enter a new modifier group. Let's start with editing an existing modifier group, in this case, Toppings. We'll tap it and this will bring up all the modifiers in that group. From here, we can edit individual modifiers or add a new one. To add a new modifier, tap on name and type it in. Then tap on price, enter that, then click add. We've now added rice to the toppings group with a cost of 75 cents. To edit an existing modifier, you can scroll through the modifiers, then select edit to the right of the name of the one you want to edit. In this case, guacamole. We're going to change the price to 50 cents. Then be sure to select save. And now you can see guacamole is now 50 cents. Once you've completed your changes, tap close at the bottom of the screen and return to the modifier group list. Now if we want to create a new modifier group, we'll tap in the group name field at the top. Let's create two new modifier groups called no toppings and salad toppings, which we're going to type in, then tap add. Then we'll scroll down and select the no toppings modifier group, which will allow us to add modifiers. Under modifiers, type no onions and click add. Input no salsa and click add again. We're going to leave pop up automatically checked because we want the modifiers to pop up at the time of the order. Now we'll go to our other modifier group, Salad Toppings, and we'll add Salsa. And we're also going to add Sour Cream, which you'll notice auto fills in because we've already created Sour Cream as a modifier in another group. We're going to uncheck pop up automatically, and we'll show you in a moment how that works when ordering. We can also tap delete group from this screen to delete the entire modifier group. And when we're done, click save. Once we've created or edited our modifier groups and individual modifiers, we'll want to attach them to an inventory item. We'll begin by clicking on the inventory tab on the left and selecting the menu item that we'd like to update. In this case, we'll be working with Tostadas and the Supreme. We'll then tap on add modifiers then tap on Add Modifier Group, which brings up the list. Then tap on the modifier group that we're adding, no toppings in this case. If you want to remove an existing modifier, you can remove it using this screen as well. Then tap Close. Now, let's go to the Salads category, select Taco Salad, and add Salad Toppings. Then tap Save Changes. Just to note, you must select each item in the category that you want to add a modifier group to. If you'll be making a significant amount of changes, such as adding a modifier group to an entire category, it's easier to make these changes using the web dashboard. To see the changes, we'll go back to the home screen and click on the Register app, where we'll go through the process of taking an order. In this case, we're going to select Tostadas, then Supreme. You can see the two modifier groups are automatically pulled up, no toppings, and toppings. 
we can toggle back and forth between these group tabs at the top and select multiple modifiers or remove a modifier by tapping it again. You can also add multiple portions of the same modifier. For example, to add an additional guacamole, we'll touch and hold the modifier button for a few seconds. When the quantity screen pulls up, click on the plus or minus button to increase or decrease the modifier quantity. Click Save, and now we see the number 2 on the guacamole selection. When you're done selecting modifiers, or if none are selected, tap Done. You'll notice under the menu item we have guacamole twice and a charge of 50 cents for each order. Using the same item, the Supreme Tostada, we're going to show you a tip on how to arrange the modifier groups when they appear in the register app. You can see we have no toppings first, then toppings. They appear in alphabetical order by default, but let's say you wanted to have toppings appear first because that is the one most used. A simple trick is to go to your modifier groups list and add an A to the group name toppings. When we go back to our register screen, you can now see that toppings with the A is the first to appear. Now, let's say we continue to take orders and we need to go back and change a menu item that has already been entered. We simply tap on the item in the current order screen, which brings up this modifier menu. At the top, we can see the modifiers already ordered. By tapping on Edit Modifiers, the modifier tabs are brought up. We then go to Toppings and select Guacamole, where we can easily remove one of the guacamole. To the left, you can see one of the guacamole is removed from the menu item. Tap on Done, then Save to complete the change. Now, let's take a look at our menu item Taco Salad, which has the Salad Toppings modifier pop-up automatically selection unchecked. You can see that no modifier options are shown when selected, and it goes directly into the current order. However, when we tap on Taco Salad, it will show No Modifiers and the Edit Modifiers button. When we tap on that, it will now bring up the Salad Toppings modifiers. We'll select Sour Cream, tap on Done, then Save. And now we can see Sour Cream has been added to the Taco Salad. We're now ready to take payment for this order or save it. That concludes our training on modifiers. If you should need additional help or tutorials, please go to help.clover.com.